A signature beloved event is back in town this week, the Elkhart Jazz Festival. And here to talk all about it is Chris Brownlee, the head of talent. Chris, this is a big deal every year. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thanks for having me, Lauren. We've been so excited. I know people have this date circled on their calendars. It's a long time coming. A lot of people come to this festival. Yes, thousands and thousands of uh, people come to the festival every, every year. And it's 10 months of planning for oh four, uh, four days of fun. And it is, talk about how many people you are expecting. I think we have video of years past. I mean, we're talking maybe eight, 10,000 people who come by. Yes, typically on Friday evening and Saturday evenings, uh, especially in the Central Park stage, you are looking at eight to 10,000 people crammed into a tiny space. <laughs> <laughs> but look at the smiles. And this is for, for people of all ages. We see kids here, is that right? Uh, yes, uh, all ages are welcome, and uh, we, yeah, we have some kids, dancer, dancers as well, yeah. and uh, anyone that wants to get up and uh, party. Yeah. yeah, and party, I love yeah. that. What else can we expect? We could see face painting, there's food. It's not just live music, but I mean, that's the big draw. Yeah, uh, it's really a community-wide event. Uh, storefronts that are normally closed on Saturdays will open up the storefronts, have sidewalk sales, uh, as well as uh, face painting, food vendors. Uh, and of course the big draw is the entertainment. Yeah. We have some big headliners coming this year. Let's talk about who's coming this year. Yeah, so uh, tomorrow we uh, kick off the event with Connie Han Trio. Uh, Friday night we have Keb Mo, a legendary Grammy Award winning wow. blues guitarist. Uh, Saturday night we have the legendary Count Basie Orchestra returning back to the Elkhart Jazz Festival. So, Amazing. Uh, yeah. And these are big names. I'm a little upset with you because I just found out you are also performing. You're a saxophone player. I am. Talk about, are you excited to get out there? I am excited. <laughs> this, is, this is one of my big events every year and uh, it's always fun to play in front of the hometown crowd. Uh, and yes, I'll be on stage in the Crystal Ballroom on Saturday. I mean, how excited are you? I mean, that's a really, really unique opportunity that so many people don't get to do and here, here you get to do it. And you're the head of talent. Yes, yes. I'm the head of talent. I also get to perform. And uh, pulling double duty is, uh, I guess that's why I don't have any hair. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's just a it's fun, fun event to do. It's fun. I wish you brought your saxophone with you because, I mean, a saxophone, that, that is, the, the, I think, one of the greatest instruments out there. Oh, thank you. I yeah. happen to agree with that. Yeah, it's amazing. So what else is on tap? This starts tomorrow. It goes through Sunday. Yes. Different times, too. Talk about the times. Uh, so tomorrow we could kick off uh, a main stage, Learner Theater, at 7 o'clock. Okay. Uh, we also have events at Wellfield Gardens that kick off at 7 o'clock as well. And uh, then Friday, Saturday, it, the best way to, to look at the schedule, because it kind of changes every day, is to go to our, our website, okay. uh, ElkhartJazzFestival.com. And I saw you listening to Jack's forecast. Obviously, it's going to be hot. We know that. Are you guys doing any preparations for the heat right now or, or just telling people to stay hydrated? Anything oh, in particular? Oh, definitely. Uh, we're working with the city of Elkhart, the mayor's office, Rod Robertson, to uh, set up cooling centers around oh, uh, the city. Because um, some of our cooling centers uh, are going to be used as stages. And okay. so uh, we're going we're to have to move those to a different location uh, and just let the public know where those cooling stations are. Okay, that's good to know. Because I know sometimes people see the, the temps and they get a little worried. But this is a festival you cannot miss out on. That's, that's correct. It is the uh, summer party of the party year. Party of the year. And I always love to hear the stories. People travel from all across the country. Have you met people who, who take that travel? Yes. <laughs> uh, people come in from all across the country. Uh, as a matter of fact, word has just uh, reached all the way to the West Coast. There's someone that just moved from uh, Washington State that wow. says that uh, they are coming to the Jazz Festival because they heard about it in Washington State. So uh, the international talent that we bring in just uh, speaks volumes to what we do here. It's amazing. And tickets are still available. How can people at home get them? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, tickets are still available. Once again, go to our website, uh, ElkhartJazzFestival.com. And uh, there's plenty of links to take you directly to get some tickets. And, and don't worry. You, you can't find a bad spot there, even if it gets sold out one night, right? Like people can still come to town and enjoy, hear the music. That's right. Uh, we have free events outside yeah. on some of the free stages, the Central Park stage, as well as our, as well as our South Main Street stage, but also, uh, yeah, there's ticket events as well. It's awesome. Chris, thank you so much for being here. We know you're a busy guy. You got to get back to planning, so we appreciate you stopping by. Again, go check out the Elkhart Jazz Festival starting tomorrow and go see Chris play. Oh, 
Thank you. Good luck. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.